Oh, call Dark Worm. That's Exodia. Does he have a Got response? Cerberus response call Dark Worm again. Powerful hand. Cerberus call Dark. That is Exodia. Oh God. Oh, boys, I hope you're. Uh, I hope you're. You're sitting comfortably because we might be going all the way here. <laughs> that, my friends, is that is that is a good pull. <clears throat> I don't want to give Triff money. Well, if you believe in Typhoon, you'll donate anyway because uh, Typhoon might just be winning this right here. Because uh, that's a sick hand. Let's see what how many negates he could put up first. Typhoon taking a long time to resolve this call, so he must have a bit of an awkward hand to try and like figure out his uh, line of plays here. He's going for Oath Dragon. Uh... What what was the other card he added? I can't see the log. I think I missed it as well. I don't have the log. I, it'll probably be harmonizing, I'd assume. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, so they only had might ha see Treff have Ghost Ogre here. Treff was setting Ghost Ogre, Droll, and what was his other hand trap of choice? He had one in Perm and three others. I believe he was setting ten hand traps. Uh, Triff, he's got Ogre, uh, Valor, Droll, and uh, 10th uh, uh, card's Impermanence. So uh, we might see an Ogre or a Valor on the Select Might. <laughs> yeah, Typhoon's going to have to play through the Select Might very carefully. He may or may not activate the first effect. Uh, I would, I don't know, I feel like if you know your opponent has Ogre in their list, you kind of just have to play it safe and not activate its first effect. Kepler as well. Kepler this is as well. Really good, really, really good. Uh, this is a Ogre. very good hand. <clears throat> did Typhoon add two Magicians? I only saw off. Yeah, Typhoon, did you add two cards? Cause it should be... Uh, it's some other people plus... are saying he did, he did add Harmonizing. He did that harmonizing because like yeah. he's he's got six car uh no yeah often harmon okay yeah we're good all right <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> can you imagine a droll against this hand <laughs> <laughs> he's actually playing it inside that as well he must have just thrown in like extra cards just for uh. I don't know, mind games, I suppose, when you have that many uh, side deck slots for a, whatchamacallit, a 1v1. Tribe and Factor, thank you so much for the 246. Rain 97, so I, yeah, I, you like decks, thank you. You've been posting let's, it all night. Are we going to get Ghost Ogre here? Is Typhoon going to decide to use the Electromite? This is really going to be the most important part of this first turn. And he is, he is going to activate Electromite. Electromite activated. Um, Ghost Ogre is being dropped. He does have it. I don't think there's any response in Typhoon's deck for Ghost Ogre. Don't believe so. Uh, I don't know. Is that a misplay? Is that a not misplay? I guess it depends on his hand. I mean, he does have six cards, so it might not be, it might not be too relevant. Six cards. We know harmonizing off dragon. Uh, we know get zero. We know the get the spell card, and we know jackal. We know. Almost every card in his hand. Maybe it is every card in his hand. <clears throat> we know five out of the six cards in his hand right now. So let's see what Tefun can pull out through this ogre. If he still manages to put up three or four negates through this ogre, Tef Tref will have just used the card for nothing. So this gets this contract is probably going to add him a Copernicus here. When he pen summons it, will send himself a Lamia, giving him access to Dawn Dragster with that Zephranoe. He's used the Harmonizing as a high scale here, which is... He may have a second in his hand, that is likely. We did know every card bar one, it may have been another Harmonizing. Or he may not need it. He is going for pen three, I believe. I think he... Mm, I think he, maybe Maybe I think uh, he just didn't look too far ahead for the Ogre, perhaps? That's his pendulum summon complete. That's three cards, and he three cards. Uh, he went into his deck. So 
I assume that's him com completing the Pendulum Summon to resolve Copernicus and Zephrani. So he's going chain like one Nui, chain like two Copernicus. Treff is thinking, so I think he may have drawn effect there or, or impermanence as well. Yeah, it's looking like that's uh, two hand traps that Triff has opened here, so it's most likely one of these two. Triff is going to think about this for a second and try and decide which one he wants to stop here, if at all, because we could see him just hold it for a little bit longer. Maybe he's. Triff does already have three negates on the board. Yep. Uh, even if, through the if, this Copernic if this Copernicus resolves, <clears throat> gets the self and does it. Okay, so Valor. he's going to oh, double the Valor. Triff is not going to have many cards to play with here. This is oh, well. really bad for Triff because he just doesn't have enough Pendulum cards, I think. Yeah, just point. drawn too many hand traps. This yeah. is not good for Pendulum. You may think drawing three hand traps is good for you, but not if you're playing Pendulum. You are going to not have enough cards to play. He has to have Pen Call Dark Worm in his last two cards or something crazy. And there's a Duelist Alliance that's going to put some tokens on the Jackal. Triff just dropped three negates on turn zero stream turn <laughs> zero three negates he's talking That's... about <laughs> can his three cards play through tiffin's one negate the triff just draw a card yeah he drew for turn oh right yeah oh yeah typhoon pass okay cool right so we have um, one negate versus three cards in hand I i'm sorry you shouldn't have oh yeah okay sorry so got negated obviously duh uh, so we have a Jackal is our uh, negate here. Two cards in hand from Typhoon. And one of them is Pendulum Call. Uh, do we the know what the other one, one is? Uh, um, zero? No, zero's on the scale. It is the Wolf Dragon. Wolf Dragon. Dragon. Okay, Wolf Dragon and um, Call in hand. And, Start uh, with the Cerberus. Cerberus is a good starter. Like this, uh, Triff didn't open uh, many Cerberus Pendulum cards a... at all. Cerberus is a broken starter because he can get Jackal. Jackal can bring back Cerberus. That Cerberus can kill that Jackal from Typhoon. Yeah. And that will get rid of Typhoon's one negate. Uh, Triff uh, at a bit of a disadvantage, I think, by opening a little too many hand traps. But doing well because, uh, you know, Pendulum is a deck that needs a lot of Pendulum cards to be able to function, not like... You know, lots of hand traps and stuff, but the best ones that you could have and ask for going second like this is definitely the Cerberus, which he's going to bring back out with the Jackal that he searched with the initial Cerberus. Probably, uh, as Jordan said, attack over the Jackal, dealing with the one singular negate. That is what he's going to do going straight into the battle phase. Now, if he has two spells in hand, we could see Cerberus's monster effect resolve, which is a banish off the field with four counters. Not sure what Triff's last two cards could be here to make an impact. He may not have a play in Memphis too, but we will see. That's a pass. Oh no. Whoa. Oh no. That's a pass. Tiffin's going to take a thousand here in the standby phase from his dark contract. Oh, okay. He can use that to search another Kepler this turn. Typhoon is in a really or strong he can, position. In fact, he can use this to search Lamia. Uh, special summon the Lamia, synchro with the Zephranoe, make Yazi go crazy this turn. So instead, he's going to start off with a Link summon. He, I believe Tafin should end the game this turn. Do remember that Tafin also has a pendulum call, so Triff is just 100% dead here. Yeah. yeah. Without any form of interaction from Triff, this should just be over. I'm not sure if Triff is <laughs> going to decide to scoop or not. He's going to make Tafin play it out. I don't... Oh, that's <laughs> a pendulum call to Scarred Lamia. That is powerful. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I feel like uh, Typhoon really did open um, really strongly in this game and Triff uh, not opening so well. Stop coaching. <laughs> Stop coaching? What? Is this coaching? <laughs> Stop commentating. <laughs> I know, right? Well, only commentate on things done, not things that could be done. You can see what will be done, what mm -hmm. has been done. <clears throat> See what else Tiffin opts to do this turn. He still has not searched with his dark contract. I don't think Triff can do very much. There, I, there's probably no benefit to searching with his dark contract. I don't believe Kepler can do much. <laughs> Adding a level one to your hand for no reason. Harmonizing boost uh, is not live currently, as he doesn't have any magicians in the extra. I'm gonna pendulum summon two here. Jackal harmonizing three. Hand, yeah, harm in hand. It should be over. We'll see if Triff decides to scoop anytime soon. 
He's got Yazi access. He has harmonizing access. This is yeah. well over game here. Let's uh, double check Metaltron's materials. It's uh, two monsters special in the extra. Yeah, this is. Uh, uh... It's, uh, so many roundabout ways you could uh, get game here, but Triff is asking for a second. He might have another, uh, a third Veiler or something in the hand, perhaps for this. Uh, yes, oh, it is. It is oh, all three effect Veiler. That is painful. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, Triff with a shark. Oh, okay. He decided not to shark. <laughs> uh, Triff uh, being the nice guy here. Uh, Sure, you didn't say it, but Typhoon retorts with it won't matter. Don't need to add the trap card off of the Sifranui if your opponent's dead this turn. <laughs> That's looking like a Trickstar graveyard, Triff. <laughs> showing off his triple effect filler draw, Triff. Yes, we know it. <laughs> that's it. That's 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 an unfortunate draw for Triff. So it looks like we're not gonna have a game five. Uh, unless uh, Typhoon does something seriously wrong. Uh, this isn't, uh, what did you ogre this? Uh, he ogred the uh, Electromite. He, he, he ogred the Electromite turn one, Typhoon. He's just banished the Veilers for no reason. Uh, yeah, that's another, uh, so, uh, Triff has managed to rack up a fifth PE minor warning here, as uh, you are in fact not allowed to rearrange your graveyard, just in case Typhoon top decks the, uh, question. Banish your whole graveyard. <laughs> yes, uh... Yeah, yeah, please uh, keep that in order. Uh, stop shuffling stop. grave. <laughs> As Triff proceeds to shuffle his grave. Triff, come on, he's concentrating. You're distracting him. <laughs> Triff, stop shuffling grave showing us, Triff... Triff showing us once again why he's banned. Yeah. <laughs> this is why you're banned, Triff. <laughs> Tiffin thinking through his place here. Still got that Lamy and the graveyard for access into Yazi. Triff still has four negates. <laughs> Triff's messing about with the graveyard has made Tiffin unable to play the game because <laughs> Julian Book does seem to have some bugs with it that if you if you keep clicking cards, your opponent can't play the game. <laughs> Yeah, Typhoon, you can't win if you can't uh, move your cards. You know, it's a legitimate tactic. I'm gonna see this Yazi come out here. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> meteor! Oh yeah, uh, this card. Instead, we can just make a vortex, absolute into vortex. Bounce the vortex Cerberus. on someone can bounce that Cerberus, so you have a negate for battle fader. <laughs> <clears throat> Link three here, going for the Metaltron, I suppose. Summoning out absolute after that, make it a rank four, or whatever type of game. Let's just uh, let's let's just move it on, Triff. It's getting late. <laughs> People got work in the morning. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Game five. Let's uh, let's move it on. So that is two to Typhoon, three to Triff. We are going into game six, rather. Sorry, game six. We are now entering. Typhoon um, does need to win the next two games. Triff only needs to win one. <clears throat> One more game and Triff can take this away. Just one more game. Uh, time on the round, Triff wins. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, the, Triff is indeed an expert of that. Uh, are you guys okay with the Typhoon? Are you able to accept the rematch or do you need to rehost or something? <clears throat> yeah, okay, we're good. We 